All right, so here's the deal. I've been in Las Vegas for about six days, and it's been a pretty much a vacation for me. I just kind of like to play cards with some friends at the World Series of Poker. It was an unbelievable experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I've got four days left here in Vegas, and I kind of planned it to where I could do some bowling stuff toward the end. And one of those things is meeting with Mike Jazz now over at the Orleans, and my lesson is at five o'clock today. Today's Monday. And I figured it'd be a cool thing to, to film and, and talk about. Uh, he doesn't know this, but I haven't thrown a ball in like 10 days. So it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting in that regard. But yeah, um, I had a lesson with him a couple months ago at the Masters. We talked about some things and then we're gonna have another lesson today. So I kinda wanna show you guys what the experience is like. He is down here and he usually is around the USBC Open Championships. So if you go to the USBC Open Championships, you can see him normally somewhere in the city. Um, he's a great coach, so yeah, let's see what we can get into. $7 Uber. Speaking of Uber, the other day, Jake and I, my roommate, Jake, for the week, uh, went to South Point and we were talking about bowling in the back seat. And right before we get to South Point, he, he goes, Hey man, I love your videos. I'm like, crap, that's really cool. Um, anyway, so I haven't thrown a ball in like 10 days. Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what issues can have arrived in 10 days, but the last time Jazz and Al and I met, we, we, we discussed timing a little bit. I got it a little quick into the swing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but uh, if it causes some complications at the end, then it can be. Um, but the biggest thing he taught me was my follow through. And when I, when I was following through, I was really forceful with it. He got me to really soften up um, and just kind of let the swing and the follow through happen without putting any muscle into it. And, uh, and that was a game changer for me. That immediately rang a bell. And that week was the Masters. And I, when I pulled the Masters, I. Uh, bull great. That was the best shot making that I've had ever just because of that one little thing. So uh, that was what we worked on last time. I'll keep you guys updated this time. Thank you, man. right there. So for those of you who don't know, we are at the Orleans, and he does his lessons down on lane 15. Actually, the Orleans used to be like this massive bowling center. And way down there, they took out like 16 lanes, and now it's only a 52. Hey, we got the man, the myth, the legend right here. Are you ready for this catastrophe? Yes. This is gonna be, he's gonna rip me apart. I hope so. <laughs> So check out this balance that I had a couple years ago when I worked with Mike two years ago at the World Series. All right, now, now let's show them what, it's, what it looks like now. All right, we got some fans here. What's your name, buddy? Griffin. What's your name? Landon. I heard you guys started a vlog or a YouTube yes. channel. Inside my bowling game. So it's called what? In Inside my bowling game. On YouTube. Yes. All right. So all the Brad and Kyle followers should go check out Inside My Bowling Game YouTube channel. Yes. It's what? It's all about me growing up as a bowler. All right. So what are your goals and aspirations? What are you going to be? A professional bowler one day? Hopefully. And broadcasting it on YouTube? Yeah. Right on, man. Like, nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too. You want to vlog with me, Mike? Yeah. On our on our way down. Jeez, can you do that walk? Yeah, you got to tell the camera what what I need to get better at. Uh, what do you think? Big question. 
You're already better than the last time I saw you. Why is that? Uh, I think you're better. Better tempo. At yeah, the you're right. So what, what was my issue? I was uh, I was really slow at the beginning, and then my last three steps I had to really catch up at the very last end. Two last two steps. Last two steps. And then in March you mentioned to, to even that out, that way it's not so drastic. Perfect. And we've done that. I think we've we've gotten yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah. so that's what yeah, that's kind of kind of the thing. All right, that has completed my lesson with jazz. Now it was an interesting one. When we originally worked the first time. Uh, we tried to, I would, I was really slow at the beginning and then I'd get really fast at the end, but we also tried to just even everything out. And, uh, and so I was doing that kind of like exaggerating this time a little bit and he goes, don't do that. And I'm like, well, I'm really trying to like work on what we did. And he goes, no, 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 your backswing's like way too low. Like it's just kind of weird. And then we realized, and he said something about tempo and how like when I try and eliminate some things, for example, man, my eyes are sleeping. Uh, like when I try and eliminate my push away a little bit, just get it into the swing a little quicker. Um, I like to have a really slow, deliberate way of bowling and then I lose a lot of power. And so that's what he meant by like my backswing is too low and whatnot. So we worked on tempo, about really like accelerating through it. And when I haven't bowled for a couple weeks, uh, that happens. You lose acceleration, tempo, you know, confidence. And, uh, and so I'm glad I had the lesson. Uh, this weekend coming up is Lubbock. Actually, let's get there. Uh, we're going to Lubbock this weekend for the Lubbock Sports Open. It's the second time I've been to Lubbock this week. And <clears throat> it's going to be, I've never really bowled good in Lubbock. But there will be a vlog. I'm staying with Nick Pate, uh, Packy, Mitch, Francois Lavoie, best name in bowling. Um, so it's going to be a really fun week and expect a vlog out of that one. Uh, so PBA Tour event this week, and that's why I wanted to get a lesson in because I'm rusty. A um, couple more days here in Vegas, though. I'm going to try and get to Bowl Expo. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to go back to Jazz now and, and work for a little bit longer. Uh, and then Bowl Expo Wednesday, and then I fly to Lubbock Thursday, and then Lubbock for the weekend. And then I'm back home, so it's kind of the schedule of events. I really kind of wanted to introduce the the vlog and the audience to Mike Jazz. Now he's a really, really good guy, really, really good coach. Um, I, I recommend him for anybody. Um, I, he's been doing it for 30 years now. He knows the ins and outs of it. He's worked with the best and the worst, and so he's just a very good option for a coach. Uh, so I really wanted everyone to know that. So yeah, all right, a couple more days in Vegas. We're having fun. See y'all and love it.